There are blessings in temptations. When we are tempted, we have the ability to either give in to that temptation or to seek God and find the way of escape that He has provided. And with every temptation, we can see the blessing with each because each temptation that comes our way is an opportunity to grow in virtue. If we overcome temptation by the power of the Holy Spirit and we resist the devil, um, and we know that when we resist the devil, the devil will flee from us, when we don't give in to temptation, we strengthen our inner life because uh, the Holy Spirit helps us not to give in to that temptation, whatever it may be. And when that happens, we grow in virtue, and that is like a small win on eternity's scale of rewards because we will see that we desire the Holy Spirit to move in and through us. We desire to obey God, and God gave us the strength through that to be able to turn. Now, sometimes, as we all know, we don't always turn from temptations. And there's going to be constant temptations and struggles and battles throughout this life. Uh, Anthony the Great said, expect temptation to your last breath. And that is just an absolute truth. It's just reality of where we live, especially in today's society, when a wrong click of a button can take us somewhere different, when we can be just so overburdened and stressed that we just become enraged, where we um, begin to compare and fall into depression and anxiety and uh, blame God or for not blessing us the way he's blessed other people. We become selfish. There's so many temptations that can destroy our view and give us a distraught perception of God. Um, but nonetheless, when we are truly born again and we are desiring to get away from sin, we don't want to give in to sin. And just as Paul, we know that there's a battle between the spirit and the flesh and it will constantly be that throughout all of our lives until we're called home. When we fall into temptation, we need to also see that as a blessing. Now, this is not an excuse at all to just say, oh, well, I just fell into temptation, that's that. And that is not, and it's not at all an excuse to give in to temptation. But we must recognize that with every temptation, God does not do the tempting, but he permits the temptation in order to work out something. And so we have touched on uh, temptations are a blessing because they can grow us in virtue when we properly respond. But even when we do not respond appropriately and we give in to the temptation and we sin, whatever that is, if it's an act, seeing, thoughts, word, our deeds, whatever it is, God permits and allows this to happen. He doesn't make us fall into sin because he provides a way of an escape. But when we fall into temptation, God allows this to happen in order to once again bring us to a place in a stage of humility. Because many times, I don't know about you, but in my life, sometimes I'll start getting very prideful, like, oh, I haven't, um, you know, this hasn't been a struggle for the longest time, or, or, oh, I'm growing so much in this, this is great. And there's a lot of I and me and, and just those type of phrases in my thinking. And as I've matured through the faith, obviously I recognize these and I ask God to continue to repent, uh, that I, re I continue to repent to him of these things and I continue to ask him to give me a natural heart of humility that I would not think that I have conquered something or I have not done something for so long or that I'm growing in this uh, on my own. I pray that he just would give me a natural heart of humility so that I don't have to learn humility um, and be taught that um, and then have to go through that process. But nonetheless, all is to say, when we give in to temptations, God allows it to happen in order to humble us because it opens our eyes to the reality that, that what we have overcome, uh, what we are currently learning, is not by us, it's by God's grace. And so when we begin to take credit for what God has done, God allows us to be tempted and allows us to fall into that temptation to remind us that, listen, it is not by you, but it is simply by me and my grace that you have come this far, that you no longer struggle with this, that you are learning this, that you're gaining deeper revelations of this. So don't take credit for what I am doing. And so this, in effect, is a blessing. When we fall into temptations, again, this is not promoting it, but when we do so and we respond appropriately, we can allow the blessing of falling into temptation to drive us to repenting, first of all, of our sin, 
but also allowing it to humble us and to recognize, wow, I am only where I am by the grace of God, and I only have what I have by the grace of God, and it is nothing that I have done. And so, uh, may we just see that temptations are blessings. They're blessings to grow in virtue. They are blessings uh, to grow us in humility and to humble us and to once again direct all that has been done, not to be viewed from our standpoint and what we've done, but to see that it is truly God, His grace and His power and His, uh, His uh, working Holy Spirit in us uh, that has... Uh, brought us so far and has taught us so much and has kept us from so much. So may we thank God uh, for what he has done thus far. May we ask that he would give us power and strength to fight against temptations. And may we pray that he would give us just a natural heart of natural humility so that we don't have to learn humility, but in everything we would deny ourselves and say, God, all good that is done by my life is only done by you, and may you forever receive all the glory and praise for it.